Hi. What I've got out today is a Rock Island Armory XTM-22. This chambered in 22 Magnum. And it has the same basic uh, uh, does, uh, feel and look of a 1911. Of course, uh, since it's a, a rimfire magnum, uh, the design is quite a bit different. But uh, it does have the look and the feel of a, of a 1911. And I'm going to load her up and we'll try a few shots with it today on camera. Magazine holds 15 rounds. Yeah, I got her all loaded up here. Magazine holds 15 rounds, and I've got one in the chamber besides, so we got a total of 16 rounds. And we'll go ahead and see if we can hit anything with it. And we've got a failure to feed. Magazine is seated good. And right there is what we got. Let me seat that back again and we will try it again. Okay, it chambered that time. Yep, but uh, once I figured out where to hold it at, it shoots kind of low. I'll load her up again and we'll try it again. Okay, we'll try her again and see if we get any more failures to feed. No failure to feed that time, and it does kind of it it is reasonably accurate. It, it you just need to learn where to where to hold the sights at. Seems to shoot a little bit low. Well, this Rock Island Armory XTM 22 22 Magnum, it is a fun little gun to shoot once you learn how to where to aim at. It does have pretty good sights, but it does not shoot to point of aim. At 20 yards, it shoots a good 4 or 5 inches low. And short of putting an adjustable sight on there, I don't know uh, what you'd really do about that. There's no, uh, the front sight is not uh, very tall. You can't really take that down any. So to bring the point of aim up, you either need to shorten the front sight or raise the rear sight. And another thing that uh, you would think, on a gun that's styled like a 1911 and has a slide release like a 1911, you would have thought that they would have put a last shot hold open on it, but they did not. You can lock it open. but it does not hold open on your last shot. Another thing about it is uh, the magazine is reasonably well made, holds 15 rounds. 
but they could have put something on here to depress that to uh, make it easier to load. And any of the mag loaders that I've got are kind of big for a 22 caliber. But you can load it, it's just uh, takes a little effort. Another thing that I, another criticism that I've got about it is this thing is a real pain to take down. You see that little, there's just a very tiny notch right there. And you need to line that up with this and then push it through from the other side which sounds reasonably easy except that you've got to be holding it in exactly the right spot to do it and it can be a real pain and before anybody asks, no I'm not going to do a t takedown video on this thing it's hard enough to do uh, uh, when you're just uh, doing it instead of when you're trying to do it reaching around the camera but on the plus side it is a very fun little gun to shoot and it really does it has the dimensions of a 1911 has the feel of a 1911 safeties work just like a 1911 Of course, the internal design is quite a bit different. You can see here, this is just a barrel shroud. The barrel is actually in there. And this here is two-piece. So, under, uh, under recoil, this actually moves for you. So the internal design is quite a bit different than a 1911, but it uh, it has the heft and the feel of one. So you can take the pluses with the minuses and take it from there. Some people will probably really like it and some people probably won't. So anyway, I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's for Budget Guns uh, and Gear Review. And I'll put a link to the channel in the description of this video. If you get a little free time, go check it out. Thanks for watching.